It is 948 on this Saturday. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station. It is almost time for summer break, so I know a lot of the parents are always thinking, what can I do with the kids to keep them, you know, engaged? Perfect, perfect. I got an activity, science activity. You can do at home. You probably have the stuff in the kitchen. You can do it right after the segment is done. Sweet, listen up. So whole milk in a big plate, okay. a few drops of food coloring, a Q-tip coated with a little Dawn dish detergent. Okay, all things we have at home. Watch what happens when I put the detergent into the food coloring. Whoa, that is, is that pretty not sweet. beautiful? Very cool. That color mixing, you get all that turbulence. I don't know if they can see it. Oh, they can sort of see it. all yeah, around. If you can't see it, just try it. It's amazing. Okay? Very cool. It looks now, like a star. The question is, what's the science behind this? Mm -hmm. And there are two big ideas. One is surface tension. The other is fat. Okay. okay so let, That's why you have to use whole milk? Yes. Okay. Well, that, that could be a good variable to vary and okay. try out. Try. But let's talk about the surface tension first. In this tray, I just have water. Now, the water on the surface, I'm going to coat with this really fine powder. Okay. The water at the surface is in a really unique situation because it has water molecules below it, to the left, the right, the front, and the back. Because but it's in above. a circle? But none above. Oh, okay. Okay, so right at the surface, it's in a unique situation. Okay. All those molecules are attracting one another, pulling one another, and creating a surface tension. So that's why we're seeing this powder kind of stay on the top? It's less dense than the water, so it's going to float on the top. But Let's break the surface tension by adding that right in the center. In fact, you know what? Okay. Let me add a little bit more here so we can see it maybe a little bit better. Go ahead and just touch it in the middle. Whoa. And the detergent molecules get in between the water molecules, break that surface tension, kind of like popping a balloon. Yeah. Okay, you can only do it once or maybe a couple times here. <laughs> um, we've reduced the surface tension. That's part of what's making this beautiful color pattern okay. here. Okay. The other fact is the detergent molecules kind of look like this. I have one end that like loves water, mm -hmm. a long tail that hates water. Ooh. You drop a detergent molecule into milk that has water and fat globules uh -huh. in it. This end is happy as can be. This end is whipping around all crazy like. Okay, so one end attaches, it, do they, does it attach to the fat? It and does. Then the other, oh, I got a fat okay. molecule here and it'll attach, <laughs> okay? And it'll stick and that's why detergent is so great at cleaning your dishes. You get a bunch of these detergent molecules that attach to the fat globules, yeah. you can rinse them away. Okay. Okay. So quickly, let's try this okay. once again. Just drop some food coloring right in the center. Okay. So just regular old food coloring. Get the clumps really close together. Okay. And it's whole milk, but you can try different kinds of milk to see how it works. All right. I'm gonna give you this. Sounds Go ahead good. And we'll do it real quick here. Push it right in the center. And phew. Oh, and, and, very. And cool. hold it right there. Oh, oh that actually, was cool. that, that's actually cool the way yeah, that, that do neat. it that way. Very cool. All right, cool. cool. Well, Carl, I'll tell you what, this is a good one for all the parents at home. You can check out all the experiments. They do some live at the Imagination Station. They are open today, tomorrow, and on Monday, so go check them out. Carl Nelson, thanks for coming in. Thanks. That's today's Imagine It. Here are the guys of sports.